You've uh, on the next menu down here, you've got uh, my pictures, uh, which in my case is my uh, photography, one of my hobbies. So the very first menu item I've got up here is uh, photography. I go straight into that, and uh, I can basically browse my folders here. So I've got um, uh, various different uh, folders. If I just go into say uh, my latest 2006 uh, pictures here. If I browse, I can sort of keep browsing up and down. You can sort of see how it just scrolls through all these uh, uh, sort of th it gives you little uh, thumbnail summaries basically of um, uh, your pictures in the folder. It helps you to sort of quickly identify them and also displays the name. I'll go into one here that says China Slideshow. This is a recent trip to China that I did. And I've got a, you can now see that there are actually icons of all the pictures that are actually uh, on display here. And you can just scroll through the icons and you can actually load up a particular picture. So if I want to click on this one here, it takes a few seconds and it loads a picture up. Now the thing I should also point out at this stage is that what I'm actually doing is I'm actually browsing all of this information wirelessly. All the information you're going to see here, the photos, the music, the videos, are actually located on a separate computer upstairs in my house and these are all basically being wirelessly beamed in real time to the uh, the Xbox here so I don't actually really have to store or uh, tap in or plug anything into the Xbox to feed in information it actually basically sucks the information down from my computer upstairs and so it's a lot easier it's very, it's very easy to basically um, just store all my photos and my music and my videos in the, the normal places that I, I would store them and the um, the Xbox Media Center is just set up is configured basically through the configuration interface to um, allow me to um, uh, for it to just find that information. Um, there are actually a few settings on the side here. You can scroll through big icons. You can have a list view here. Uh, you can have um, uh, small icons and back to the big ones here. You can also then do a slideshow. So I'm, I'm not going to go through every single menu item uh, in every area, but I'm just going to show you just sort of the main things I tend to use day to day. There's a slideshow mode here. So now what I've done basically is uh, uh, set into the slideshow. So by default, for every for you know every few seconds, it will basically just uh, buffer up the next picture and load it up, and then it just fades into the next picture. So it's quite a nice way if you've got um, friends and family that want to see pictures of uh, a recent vacation or some family pictures. Uh, you know, they can be stored on a computer elsewhere in the house, and you can basically just um, load them up on here and the screen, you know, uh, preview them on your big TV set. It makes it uh, very, very easy, very quick and fast. And the nice thing about this is there's nothing special that you have to do. As long as you get into a habit of storing your pictures in uh, a set sort of structure of folders on your computer um, in the other part of your house, uh, and as long as it's always in that same folder area, then this uh, Xbox will always know basically where to look. It will always understand uh, to uh, look in those folders and will just find the latest additions that you've copied over basically, the latest uh, holiday pics or whatever you've done. I'll just press the stop button on this now and uh, stop the slideshow. Um, so that will just take us back to the uh, main screen here in two ticks. Okay. Uh, now I'll go back to the main menu. So that's pictures. Uh, videos is the other thing. Now this is really great. I like this. This is probably a little bit about, um, I guess, what's uh, commonly called IPTV, um, Internet Protocol uh, TV, um, which is not really a, I guess you couldn't really say it's a real structured sort of thing like commercial television. I mean, ultimately what this is, is that a lot of people are now actually posting uh, the latest um, TV shows up on the uh, on the internet and uh, allowing uh, which allows people to uh, download shows that for instance aren't necessarily available in your local region or for instance if you're a bit of a, um, a fan of certain shows and they're uh, you know unfortunately net the network commercial networks do sometimes have a tendency to um, chop and change episode orders to um, you know midstream in a series sometimes stop it and then uh, put it on hold for a month and then start it up again I find that's particularly uh, noticeable with science fiction shows they often seem to get stuck very late at night and this sequence of episodes gets out of order and it gets a little bit frustrating so now it's a lot easier it's just clicked in the screensaver mode again now it's a lot easier to actually access and download these um, these sort of uh, programs so for instance what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go into my movies trailers and TV um, area here and you can see I've got a few shows lined up here I've got Battlestar Galactica and Heroes, House, Medium, things like that 
And so what I can actually do now is I can, for instance, go into um, the, uh, let's say, we'll go into Heroes, which is one of the new series that I've just uh, downloaded. And you can, uh, you can again, you can basically just, you've got a list here that you can scroll through. And um, so I can go into one of the episodes here and I can click on this to start it up. And what will happen is it will cache, it has this little box here that just um, says I'm just, I'm just caching it, I'm just buffering it up a little bit, just getting a little bit of stuff ahead. And now it starts playing the show. And it's pretty reasonable quality. I mean, this uh, this particular version I've downloaded is actually um, one of the probably uh, more medium quality ones. But given that it's been blown it's blown up here on a big 50-inch plasma screen, it's pretty good. And um, you can see, in fact, I'll just maybe um, uh, unmute this just for a little uh, tick. So you can actually see that there is actually... Uh, you thought of first. The single mother's alter ego revealed a deadly secret. There is actually a soundtrack to this. And um, uh, so I'll just stop this. And uh, in fact, I'll just also just uh, maybe do a um, uh, one of the high quality episodes. So sometimes people post these in a slightly different quality. So I'll actually do one here that's double, basically double the size. And it's... Um, uh, not quite. It's not quite high definition, but it's um, it's probably comparable to standard uh, definition uh, broadcast uh, using a digital TV. It's um, it's pretty pretty decent quality. Um, you know, uh, scenes are uh, that little bit sharp, a little bit clearer. And this is probably about as high resolution as you'll probably get using the Xbox. Bearing in mind that this original Xbox is actually you know quite a few years old technology wise and it uses I think something like a Pentium 3 processor so it's actually pretty um, pretty amazing what it can actually do given that it's actually you know quite old technology quite a few years old. Um, so as I say this just gives you an idea of some of the better quality um, uh, sort of material that you can actually get. Um, uh, and I should point out that this, um, th these things that are downloaded are basically uh, uh, recorded from various individuals and encoded um, and posted online.